Vyan and Taehyung had been best friends since they were kids. They did everything together. From playing in the park to studying for exams, they were inseparable and their bond was unbreakable. Life was good for Vyan and Taehyung. They were both successful in their careers with promising futures ahead of them. Vyan was a talented artist while Taehyung was a skilled entrepreneur. They supported each other through thick and thin, celebrating each other's victories and comforting each other in times of need. But everything changed one fateful day when their parents dropped a bombshell on them. Vyan's parents and Taehyung's parents had decided that the two of them should get married to merge their family's business and strengthen their financial standing. Vyan and Taehyung were shocked and devastated by the news. Taehyung already had a girlfriend, Sara, whom he loved deeply. He tried to reason with his parents, explaining that he couldn't betray Sara by marrying someone else. But his parents were adamant, insisting that the marriage was necessary for the greater good of the family. Vyan was also torn apart by the news. She couldn't imagine marrying anyone other than Taehyung. But she didn't want to come in between him and Sara. She felt trapped and helpless, unable to change the course of her life. Despite their protests, Vyan and Taehyung's parents went ahead with the wedding arrangements. The wedding day arrived and Vyan and Taehyung found themselves standing at the altar exchanging vows that neither of them truly meant. The ceremony was a blur for both of them. Wyan felt like she was living in a nightmare, watching helplessly as her life spiraled out of control. Taehyung's heart ached for Sara, knowing that he had betrayed her trust and love.
Everyone's way of dealing with heartbreak is different. Taehyung's way of dealing was anger. He started being rude to everyone. He didn't even realize when he started getting anger issues. He blamed Wyan for everything. The best friend she once had was now a completely different person. A month passed by with Wyan and Taehyung focusing on their work. Taehyung even drowned himself in alcohol sometimes. One day, as Taehyung woke up with his head throbbing cause of hangover, he made his way downstairs and saw Wyan. Who sat at the kitchen table, her hands clenched into fists as she stared across Taehyung. Who was about to go somewhere but stopped when he heard Wyan. You're impossible, Tehyung, she spat out, her tone dripping with anger. Do you even know how drunk you were? Tehyung closed and sighed in frustration. Listen, this whole situation is your fault. If you hadn't agreed to this forced marriage, none of this would be happening. Wyan's eyes flashed with hurt and frustration. I didn't agree to anything, Taehyung. You know that. We were both dragged into this mess by our parents. Don't you dare blame me for your heartbreak. Taehyung's jaw tightened as ran a hand through his messy hair, taking a step forward. Oh, so now it's my fault that I'm miserable, that I had to give up on the woman I love because of you. Wyan stood up, her voice rising in defiance. I didn't ask you to give up on Sarah. That was your choice. You could have fought for her, but you didn't. Don't put that on me. The tension in the room was palpable as they glared at each other, their emotions raw and unfiltered. Tehum took a deep breath, trying to calm himself down. I just can't stand the sight of you, Wyan.
Every time I look at you, I am reminded of what I have lost because of this marriage. He spat and left the room, burning in rage. I just want my best friend back, Wyan whispered to herself, tears welling up in her eyes. Days turned into weeks, weeks turned into months, and months turned into a year. But there was no improvement in their relationship. They talked only when they needed something. It felt like everything was breaking apart. This continued until one night. Wyan got a call from Taehyung's number. A stranger spoke from the other side. Are you this man's wife? He asked, his voice urgent. Uh, yes. What happened? Wyan felt a bit anxious by his tone. This guy got into an accident and we're taking him to the nearest hospital. And Wine felt her whole world slipping away from her feet. The phone almost fell from her hands. I can't give you the details over the phone, but please come as soon as you can. It's urgent, the stranger replied before hanging up. Ryan's hand trembled as she quickly wore whatever footwear she could find and rushed out of the house. Her mind consumed with worry for Tehyung. She hailed a cab and gave the driver the address of the hospital, her heart pounding in her chest with each passing moment. When she arrived at the hospital, she was greeted by a nurse who led her to the waiting room where Tehyung's family was gathered. Their faces were itched with worry and fear as they turned to look at Wyan. What happened? Is Tae Hyung okay? Wyan's voice was barely above a whisper, her eyes searching for answers. His sister took a deep breath before speaking. Taehyung was really, really drunk and got involved in a car accident. He's in a critical condition. But the doctors are doing everything they can to stabilize him. Wan felt her world shatter around her as tears welled up in her eyes. She sank to the ground, her hands shaking as she tried to process the news. T. 
The young sister was silent for a moment before asking, How long he has been drinking wine? Wan looked up at her speechless. She looked away, not knowing what to say. One, one year. The Hyung's sisters watched her with a pained expression. And you didn't do anything to stop him? What is the reason? Why did he start drinking? Is there any answer? His sister asked. Why I knew what the answer was, but stayed silent. The hour passed in a blur as Wyan sat in the waiting room, surrounded by Taehyung's family, but feeling utterly alone in her fear and grief. The sounds of footsteps approaching made her look up as she saw a doctor walking towards her. Are you Wyan? The doctor asked gently. Wyan nodded, her throat tight with emotion. Yes, I am. How is Tehum? Can I see him? The doctor hesitated for a moment before speaking. Tehum is stable for now, but he is still unconscious. We are monitoring his condition closely. You can see him briefly, but please be prepared for what you might see. He has been calling your name even when unconscious. Pan nodded her heart pounding in her chest as she followed the doctor down the sterile hospital corridors to Taehyung's room. When she entered, she saw him lying on the hospital bed, his face pale and bruised, machine beeping softly around him. Tears streamed down Wyan's face as she approached his bedside, taking his hand in hers. Taehyung, please wake up. I need you, she whispered, her voice breaking with emotion. Hours turned into days as Wyan sat by Taehyung's side, willing him to wake up and come back to her. The doctor remained cautiously optimistic about his prognosis, but each passing moment felt like an eternity to Wyan. Her mind kept blaming her for his condition. If only she had stopped him on time. If only she didn't marry him. He wouldn't be drinking and this accident would have never happened. All the memories kept coming back to her, making her even more guilty for something she had never done. She knew his happiness was with Sarah.